Hi guys, Gerald O'Neill here, Woodcastle uh, Tiger Raiden. So, um, in this kitchen utility room area, and um, I've basically, I'm nearly finished. Um, done a few wee videos during the week of this whole house to do, and I've basically been starting uh, on this ground floor. And um, I'm just doing a short video on, on these door frames here. So what I'm using on them is, uh, they were originally done on an oil based gloss and uh, I'm putting on Colour Trend Satin, it's a waterborne paint and uh, but you can't put that straight over an oil based paint, you have to use a primer. So what I've done with these frames, there's a few doors here as well, is I've used Colour Trend Prime 2 which is here. So, um, to go over an oil based paint, I recommend either uh, Prime 2 or Prime 3, which is the oil based one. I use both. But this one's great for door frames and it uh, goes on quite easy. Uh, it's nice to work with on door frames. Um, again, in my opinion, I, I, with experience, I prefer, of this hand paint, the kitchen in here to do as well. And I prefer to use the oil based on the kitchens because um, you have a bit more working time with it. The stuff goes off pretty quickly. But on door frames and skirting boards and stuff like that, absolutely brilliant. It covers well and uh, whenever it dries, you can't give a good sand for your finished coat. So basically, one coat of that is what the, the door frames got. And then I have the Colour Trend here, satin finish, uh, fantastic stuff and I put a drop of, uh, so you always hear me talking about paint conditioner, uh, I use ultra oil in the oil based, I use Floderol in the water based and again it gives you a bit more working time, uh, again it does enhance the paint and it gives you uh, a nice smooth finish. So. Um, I'm on this door frame here and um, it's ready for the first coat of this primer here. I'm using a wee, uh, these wee brushes, as I said this before, started using these brushes, Ace Fusion, brilliant for, for water based paints, uh, very fine bristle, keep the shape and uh, very very impressed with these. So this is the um, Ace Fusion brush, inch and a half. And as I say, so I've got this frame all sanded down. So after I give the light sand before I put the primer on, I always use these wee sand pads here. Dust it down, put a coat of primer on, let the primer dry, then give it another light sand before you put your first coat of finished satin on. So, I mean, these wee things get right into the groove here. And see this primer set, so water face doesn't move, you know. And you do get a nice smooth finish there, you know, for your your satin. Uh, this frame behind me here you can see uh, over here I've already put the first coat on here on this one and the door has been sanded and primed. There's a door there and then there's a panel do glass panel door here to do. So um, yeah and the wall so the seams went white, brilliant white. Okay this colour here is uh, it's little green paint and the colour is clock face. And as I say, the woodwork's white satin. So we're on this door frame here. And so basically when you do a door frame, do your top edge first. And this colour trend uh, satin goes on really well, you know, goes on smooth, dries in lovely. Uh, nice satin finish on it and a tough finish as well. Just hit your wee door stop in there first, as you can see. Do the underneath of it. And oh, uh, when, it, when you go over the prime too, uh, it really does glide over it, honestly. It's, you know, uh, I always say, you know, see if you go with the, 
manufacturer's instructions, you use their primer, you use their paint, you can't go too far wrong. But I, as I say, you hear me talking about colour trend a lot. I uh, think it's a fantastic brand of paint. The primers are good. Uh, their satin finish is absolutely fantastic. See for kitchens and furniture and you know, woodwork, lovely finish. There you go. So there's that wee section done across the top there. So then of this side here to do, then this side, and you know, then I'll go under the doors and stuff like that. But I'll, I'll take a wee walk around here with you and show you what has been done then. So as I say, you know, all the woodwork's all primed, ready to go. And just take this wee camera off here. Okay, and I'll show you. So in here we'll have a wee, the wee storeroom. As you can see, it's all nicely, neatly done. Uh, I have to put up the hooks for the coats there. Full all the wee nail holes in that there, sand it down, primed it, give it two coats of the uh, little green. There's your skirting board. There's my wee mat there for kneeling on. And, uh, okay, just go into your utility room here again. Um, there's your wee door frame there. It's all primed, as I say. Skirting board, you know, all the walls are finished. And there's this wee door again, both sides of that has to be done. Uh, it's all primed with the prime too, colour trend. Then we'll go into the main kitchen area here. And if I show you there, there's that door there. I sanded that door down and it's had uh, one coat of. Uh, it's the the brand is Bondex, satin finish, uh, antique paint, with a drop of ultra loyal India. You get that nice sheen on it, you know. So there you go. And this door as well. Again, both them frames have had their first coat of satin. So we're near done in here. Now we'll go into the kitchen. So this kitchen has to be hand painted. As you can see, and uh, Donna, who always would send me a message, these this is the chairs that I have to do table and chairs. You can see there's a few wee scores. There's two chairs out in the hall. There four chairs in total, and uh, so I'm going to be doing a wee fitting on those as well. Uh, the kitchen color is this one here. Uh, it's called Chinese Whisper, uh, color trend. It's going on all of these cupboard doors. So what I have to do here is um, basically remove all the handles, remove the doors, obviously degrease the whole surface and I will prime all these, uh, the surface in uh, Color Trend Prime 3, the oil based one. And then I'll put three coats of the satin finish uh, Chinese Whisper. And you know, should should go well with this clock face colour, you know. So there you go. Just a wee short video. Anyway, thanks for watching. And uh, if you have any questions on anything, hand painted kitchens, doing door frames, primers, preparation, anything like that, by all means get back. Thanks, back.